In the last video, we looked at forming an expression for the perimeter of different 2D shapes. So just as a bit of a recap, the perimeter is the total distance around the outside of a shape. So if we form an expression for the perimeter of this shape, then we're going to add, add up all of the different side lengths. So we're going to add up all of these expressions. So we've got x plus 6, x plus 6, plus another x plus 6, so plus another x plus 6, plus x, and plus this x here. So this is an expression for the perimeter of this shape. Now we can simplify this. We can collect like terms. So we've got an x here. We've got another x here. That's 2x plus another x. That gives us 3x plus another x. That gives us 4x's. So we've got 4x and we've also got plus 6 plus another 6, which we can simplify as to plus which forms plus 12. So the expression for this perimeter is 4x plus 12. Now, what about if I tell you that the perimeter of this rectangle, after measuring it, is 40 centimetres? And given that it's 40 centimetres, we can now calculate this missing letter. So we can calculate what the value of this missing letter is, given that we know the perimeter. So how do we do this? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to set up an equation that involves the perimeter and we're going to solve it. Now, before I go through this, if you're a bit unsure of solving equations, I do have uh, some videos on that. So I would definitely recommend you watch those videos. So we know that the perimeter, an expression for the perimeter is 4x plus 12. So 4x plus 12, that is what the perimeter is. But we know the perimeter is 40 centimetres. So we can just set that equal to 40. OK, this is an expression for the perimeter and this is what the perimeter is. And they both are the same. And to solve this equation, I'm going to use the balancing method. So we want to work out what this value of x is. Now, at the moment, we've got this plus 12 here. We want to get rid of that because we want this on its own. So to get rid of 12, well, we're just going to take away 12. Okay, if we take away 12, that will get rid of this and we're, all we'll be left with is 4x. But we can't just take away 12. Whatever we do to one side of an equation, we have to do exactly the same to the other side. Otherwise, the equation is not balanced. So if we take away 12 from this side, we have to take away 12 from this side. So what are we left with? Well, on the left hand side, we're just left with 4x because the 12s cancel out. 12 minus 12 is 0, so they will just cancel out. And on the right hand side, we've got 40 minus 12, which is 28. So if 4 lots of x equals 28, well, what does 1 lot of x equal? Well, we're just going to divide by 4. OK, we're just going to divide both sides by 4. And what do we get? Well, on the left hand side, we're just left with x. 4 divided by 4 is 1, so that will just cancel out. And 28 divided by 4 is 7. So our answer is x equals 7. The value of x is 7. And we can check that. So let's pop 7 into our shape here. So this side length will be 7. This side length will be 7. These two side lengths will be 7 plus 6, which is 13. And just to make sure if we add all of these together, we should get 40. 13 plus 7 is 20. 13 plus 7 is 20. 2 lots of 20 is 40. So we know we have got it correct. OK, so let's do one more. And this time we've got a triangle. And we know that the perimeter of the triangle is 30 centimetres. So our job is to work out what this missing letter is. So the first thing we're going to do is write an expression for the perimeter of the triangle. We're going to add up all of the side lengths. So let's start with this one. We're going to, we've got 2x plus 1. 2x plus 1. And we're going to add on 10 minus x. Let's add on 10 minus x. And then we're going to add on this length here. Now, we're not told explicitly what this length is. However, these dashes tell us that this triangle is an isosceles triangle. And with isosceles triangles, these two lengths here are exactly the same. So if this is 2x plus 1, this is also going to be 2x plus 1. So now we know our last side length. We're just going to add on another 2x plus 1. And this is the expression for our perimeter. So let's go ahead and simplify this. So first of all, let's look at our x terms. We've got 2x. Uh, we've got minus x. So if we start with 2x and take away 1x, we're now left with 1x. And now we've got add another 2x that takes us to 3x so we've got 3x and now let's look at our numbers we've got plus 1 
plus 10, that takes us to plus 11, plus another one, we are now at plus 12. So the expression, fully simplified, is 3x plus 12, but we know that the perimeter is 30. So we can set that equal to 30. And now we've got an equation that we can solve. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take away 12 from both sides. So if we take away 12 from both sides, we are now left with 3x equals 30 minus 12 is 18. So the 12s cancel out with each other, so that's why they've disappeared. And now our last step, we want to get x on its own. So if we divide both sides by 3. So if we divide both sides by 3, we get x equals 18 divided by 3 is 6. So that is our answer. Okay, so it's over to you now. What I'd like you to do is for each question, form an expression for the perimeter of each shape. And then using the given perimeter, set up an equation and solve it to find the missing values. Okay, so let's do the first one here. So let's first of all form an expression for the perimeter. So we've got x plus 12 plus x plus 12 plus x plus x. And we can simplify this. So we've got x plus x plus x plus x, which is 4x. And if you look at the numbers, we've got 12 plus 12, which is 24. So here is our expression, fully simplified, and we know that the perimeter is 56. So we can set that equal to 56 and solve our equation. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this 24. So if we take away 24 from both sides, we are now left with 4x equals 56 minus 24 is 32. And now finally, if we divide both sides by 4, we are left with x equals 8, and that is our answer. So let's go on to the next one. First of all, we're going to write an expression for the perimeter. And notice we're not given these values, but this is a parallelogram. So these two values are the same, and these two values are also the same. And now we can write an expression for our perimeter. So it's going to be x plus 9 plus x plus 9 plus x minus 2 plus x minus 2. And if we simplify this, we've got x plus x plus x plus x, which again gives us 4x. And now if we count the numbers, we've got 9 plus 9, that gives us 18. Minus 2, that gives us 16. Minus another 2, that gives us 14. So it's going to be plus 14. And just like before, we can set that equal to 46, because we know the perimeter is 46 centimetres. Now let's solve. So let's take away 14 from both sides. First of all, that's our first step. And we're left with 4x equals 32. And oh, it looks exactly the same as this equation, so I don't even need to go any further. 4x equals 32, 4x equals 32. I know that x must equal 8. OK, let's go on to the last one now. And let's hope that it is not the same as these two, because that would be a bit silly. So let's add up all of the terms. So we've got x plus 5 plus 5x plus 5 plus x plus 7. And again, let's simplify. So we've got x plus 5x, that gives us 6x, plus another x, that gives us 7x. So we've got 7x, and then let's add up the numbers. 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 7 is 17. So it's plus 17, and that equals 24. So let's solve this equation. So we're going to take away 17 from both sides. So let's take away 17 from both sides. And what are we left with? We're left with 7x equals 24 minus 17 is 7. So we want to get x on its own. So if we divide both sides by 7, divide both sides by 7, we are left with x equals 7 divided by 7 is 1. So it wasn't 8 in the end. So that was, I'm happy about that. So our answer is 1. Now for all of these questions, you can check your answers. All you need to do is substitute your answer back into the original shape. So let's just do it for this last one. So we said that x equals 1. So let's pop 1 back into these um, side lengths. So if we start off with this uh, vertical height here, it's just going to be 1 plus 5, which is 6. The base of our triangle is going to be 1 plus 7, which is 8. And the length of our triangle is going to be 5 times 1, which is 5 plus 5, which is 10. So 10 plus 8 plus 6 does indeed give us 24. So we're happy. So thank you for watching. Hopefully that was helpful. And in the next video, we're going to do something similar, but it's going to involve angles. I hope to see you then. Take care.